Hi, this is a recurrent neural network basic tutorial. When you see a sentence, how do you identify part of speech such as noun or verb? Guess part of speech tag as known as POS tag for iGoogle at work. You can easily know that the Google here is verb and the work here is noun. How about this sentence? In this sentence, the work is now verb and the Google is noun. How does your brain classify these words differently in different sentences? Perhaps you thought work as a verb because you saw I, which is a pronoun just before work. And you thought Google as noun because you saw the combination of the pronoun, verb, preposition before the word. Remembering previous words is the key of the recurrent neural network as known as RNN concept. And this simple diagram was made for remembering previous words in general previous states and infer the current state based on the current input and the previous state. Here is how RNN infer our example. I is the current input and there is no previous state. Let's assume it predicted as pronoun. Then, when the input is work, the output will be based on the current input work and the previous word i. Then, when the input is add, the output will be based on the current input add and the previous state of i and work. Then the last POS tag will be inferred with the same logic. If input sequence is different, now you can see even if the word is same, the output can be different according to the previous state. Now let's take a step back and dive deep into this diagram but more generally. Firstly, I change the words to x1, x2, x3, and x4. Since RNN is not only for the words, let's use x for our inputs. Also, I change the POS tags to y1, y2, y3, and y4, which normally stands for the output. Now let's take a look into the hidden state. I abbreviated the hidden state as h1, h2, h3, h4, and importantly, you can see the output here is same as the state here. And here's the main issue of this tutorial. You see there are two weight values. Wxh is a multiplier for the input, and the Whh is a multiplier for previous state. These multipliers will be random number initially, but will be optimized during training. In this slide, it is okay just understand we have two weights in a cell. By adding weight multiplied input and the previous state, we can make a value which is based on the current input as well as the previous state. And it is always good habit to add bias for efficient training of the deep learning model. And the summed up value goes to the activation function, normally it is 10h. This is the final output and a current state of a cell. Now, let's see how we can infer POS tagging using this architecture. What we need is softmax to get the probability for the output values. If we have a set for possible POS tag, the softmax can give us each output's probabilities just like this. You can see the difference when the input sequence is different. Now, I'm going to explain how training is done. In order to explain, I slightly change the y to logit, and uh, let's call the softmax output as pred for clear explanation. This is supervised learning, meaning you already have answer. Here, I marked as target. You can compare the difference between the target and the predictions and minimize it using the gradient descent trick. I highlighted with red font where the value will be optimized by the gradient descent. The fence name is backpropagation through time or BPTT. Remember, even if you see 4WXH, 4WHH, and the 4 biases here, but we just have one variable for wxh, one variable for whh, and one variable for bias. 
you might be interested in how sentiment analysis work with RNN. For sentiment analysis, we only use final state where all the combinations of the input sequence calculated. Here example, you can see the final state is unhappy when the input sequence was the traffic ticket finds. Similar words but different context like traffic is fine, last state is happy. Distinguishing sentiment is by softmax layer after last state to provide probabilities for every possible sent sentiment. During training, just like POS Tagger training, we use BPTT and update WXH, WHH, and BIAS. Lastly, since all the variables are used by the each cell, we can simplify this diagram just like this. And even we can simplify the diagram into one line equation. I love this beautiful simple equation. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps you to understand the basic of the RNN. Thank you.